is just a quick video. Um, we've spent the morning. Remember, we gave narrowboat potteries the measles last year. And although it's not a perfect match, we've gone over the red oxide this morning with black paint. And once we've been through a couple of locks, it'll look just as dirty as the rest of it. But we're in a fantastic location. We're between the two locks at Beeston. So that's Beeston Stone Lock. Oh, and just around the corner, can't see it, is Beeston Iron Lock. Um, and there's a 48 hour moor in here. And we took advantage of it. But I'm just going to sit down because there's something I want to tell you. Apologise, I've got paint on me anywhere. And I've got, uh, I've got it uh, all on my legs, but I'm not showing you my legs. We've got a beautiful hill behind us. Woke up this morning with a nice cow standing there staring at us. This is a fabulous mooring between two locks, which I wouldn't normally do. But it is a 48 hour mooring. Um, and it's quiet because the two locks are only a couple of hundred yards apart, so nobody's coming down. So the hair's on fire. But what I wanted to talk to you about is uh, Beeston Castle, which unfortunately we can't see from here. It's, it's just over, it's just over that far hill. But everybody is familiar with Beeston Castle, or most people. But there is, if you're standing at Beeston Castle and, and look, well, not over the Cheshire Plains, the other way, there is another castle. Peck Fortin Castle, which doesn't get much of a mention, but it has a grisly recent history. In two th it, it, it's a wedding venue. It's a hotel and a wedding venue. And there's peacocks wandering around, and they do corporate events. And it, 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 it's quite a, a very well, it's a very nice place. Um, in 2011, there was a big posh wedding there, and someone will have got the memories of a lifetime. I, I doubt you'll find anyone else who's got better wedding memories. Well, I wouldn't say better, <laughs> but more unforgettable wedding memories than this one. There was a bit of a dispute, um, one about the late payment for the venue, and then later on when they were all a bit oiled, there was a dispute about the bar bill. So the bridegroom set fire to the curtains in his room. I'll I'll put a link I'll put a link down below to the article. He um, there were two hundred staff and guests staying overnight. No no one was injured fortunately, but it did six million pounds worth of damage to the venue, and he received six years in prison. That's not the honeymoon he was banking on, I would imagine. But that's Peck Fortin Castle for you, the uh, underrated version of. Beeston Castle. I'll put, the, I'll put a link. I'll put a link to the BBC. I think it's the BBC website. And I think his name was Max. If you're watching, I hope you enjoyed your six years.